Welcome everybody. We are here with Miami New Construction Show web series and I'm very happy to be here with one of the biggest developers from Miami. Moses, very nice to meet you. Please say a few words about yourself. Introduce yourself and say a few words about what you are doing and where you're coming from. Hi everybody, I'm Moses Ben Susan, developer from uh, original from Spain, born in Tangier but raised in France and uh, I will traveling a lot and discover a lot of uh, cultures. And now I'm here in Miami getting uh, my, uh, my feet here on this uh, beautiful uh, sunny country. Very nice. So how did you end up with real estate? You were traveling all over the world. How did you come to Miami? What was the moment? And how did you come to real estate with us? Actually, Anita was uh, living in Canada for 20 years and you know how cold is Canada and we, had, uh, we have to escape Canada. We have mm -hmm. to go to some uh, sunny place. The most uh, close and beautiful place was Miami. So I was coming here for more than 20 something years, three, four times, even six times a year. And uh, one day I saw the, the, the economy going, uh, going on a different aspect. So I saw the, the change what happening here in Miami. And I say, why not? Why to leave uh, Montreal and uh, decide to come here? I was very, at the beginning, I was very brave because I came in 2008 when it was the, the big uh, crash uh, market in uh, Miami. So it was very difficult. Everybody told me, are you crazy? You're going to, to start in the uh, United States? This market is not good, you know, it's not going to... And believe me, I would like to, to remind those people that this market booming since uh, the last five years. Great. And what is your background as origin? What did you study? I was I was developing in Canada with uh, my family, so I was like uh, in this uh, in this uh, field for already more than ten years, and I had uh, we did more than two million square feet of development in Canada, all over Canada. What kind of developments did you do? It was different uh, multi-use uh, offices with uh, some, uh, we had triple net, triple uh, A customers, uh, a lot of uh, big brands and uh, never did hospitality. And this is the first one. And I'm very excited because we brought uh, on this project, we brought uh, one of the biggest uh, hotel management, which is Melia. Melia, it's uh, from Spain, like everybody knows, they have uh, close to uh, 500 uh, hotels property in the world so they're gonna be the first one on the beach in Miami so we brought Melia in, uh, in Florida. Miami exists of more little cities and Hollywood is like a little pearl why Hollywood for you? You know Anita Hollywood why not everybody at the beginning was saying Hollywood Hollywood why there is nothing in Hollywood actually this is what I'm looking I'm looking to develop where there is nothing where I see big potential and this was eight years ago. Now today, everybody follow me. I see many projects happening in Hollywood. We talk Hollywood like it's the biggest place of development today. And fortunately, what it was uh, the, the price of the, of the square feet for land before, today it's like uh, almost impossible to get, uh, to get what we had before. So I'm happy. Actually, the buyer, they should take advantage of that because I create value on their buying. Today, uh, the minimum per square feet goes to $700 to $800 square foot, which before it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that in, uh, in Hollywood. Hollywood, it was much affordable. So this means that you are a visionary, you are a fortune teller. So I'm very curious that which area in other areas or much next development which excites you? What is your next plan? My next plan, Anita, obviously, we have, uh, we have going north and uh, it's going to be close to our where we have where we are actually now i can divulge now everything but uh, shortly we, you you will have you will be the first one to know thank you so much i'm very curious so um we were talking a little bit about the buyers who are your buyers and how do you see the buyers are changing in the last few years my my buyer we start actually we have uh, we have our networking with brokers and we are very focused on uh, South American, which is uh, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Chile, uh, ev everywhere in South America. But now I would like to more going more New Yorker. New York market is something that uh, I, can, I can see for them. It's to have something here. It's very, very accessible. First of all, it's accessible. 
And second, they need that because of the cold that they have in New York. They need to come here. And obviously we have European coming here. Don't forget, Anita, Miami changed completely. What it was Miami in, uh, 10 years ago is not today. Today we have a beautiful city, beautiful beach, sunny, 300, I mean, uh, 12 months a year. We have a beautiful restaurant, nightlife, amazing. We have on the top uh, of uh, nightlife uh, in the world. So everybody talk about Miami like they talk in uh, paradise. And it's true, it's paradise. We're only missing uh, here the approval of the casino. Once we have that, it's gonna be the top destination in the world. Exactly, and this is actually the answer for my next question. I wanted to ask you that, what are the points, what are the selling points when you are selling your projects? That why people should come to Miami, why they should buy Miami, but you answered that beautiful restaurant. I think also in your project with Costa Hollywood, you will have something which is a nice surprise regarding not just hospitality with uh, the hotel management company, but also restaurant-wise. Yeah, we're trying to focus this uh, area which is uh, missing a lot of uh, nightlife, Hollywood. I mean, all the people who live in Sunny Island, Aventura, uh, you name it, from all, all north, they need some nightlife, they need where to go out, hang out on a nice place and everything. So we, by bringing this project in uh, Melia on, the, on, the, on our uh, brand, we put a little bit of five-star hotel and we create something more different, more... Uh, so we're going to have five restaurants on site, we're going to have a beautiful rooftop, like we can enjoy a beautiful drink on the night, nice pool on the day, uh, we're going to have uh, some type of uh, nightclub uh, happening uh, in another... We're going to have five different completely component restaurants. People are going to come to us and they're going to really enjoy. For sure. And now that you are a big believer that uh, Miami has to have, or the south of the region has to have some certain uh, nightlife or excitement points, and Hollywood is growing into the north point of the excitement and here we're going to have many restaurants, here we're going to have many interesting points that families and also the tourists and also people who are living here can do. I know that you are supporting also this uh, Hollywood and uh, the area of the Young Circle. You uh, mentioned to me that this is going to be the middle of the nightlife as well. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to really have not everybody that live. I live in Aventura. I live in a beautiful uh, building, Porto Vita, which is amazing. We have everything around. We have shopping-wise. We have everything. But we're missing the restaurant. On the night, sometimes I with with my wife, we say, "Oh, where are we gonna go again to eat tonight?" And we don't want to drive half an hour to go to South Beach. We would like to have a beautiful restaurant on the area. So even the Hyde, they just opened in Hollywood, which is I'm, uh, I'm very happy. That to have something at least to coming on the area and follow where, what I was my vision. I'm happy to see that. Nice. You mentioned that you, have, you are focusing on the South American buyers, but now you are changing the focus for the New York buyers. Does it have any influence of uh, the foreign currency exchange rate changes? Maybe the buyer's power is not that strong and uh, that's why you're focusing on Yes, we have, we have this uh, rates change that is uh, affecting a lot of uh, buyers from, uh, from a foreign country. But uh, they don't affect really bad on my uh, project because our, our, uh, our average prices on, uh, per unit is uh, $500,000. It's not the five, six million dollar unit, which the rate is not that affecting. But yes, I would like to focus on, uh, on uh, more uh, New Yorkers, American uh, buyers. We are offering something very nice here in Miami with the nightlife, with everything. And how do you see the economy? Is it changing? Because I hear from many um, developers that Miami is changing. It's not just the second home destination, not just the fun part, but also the economy is getting very strong. Miami has the second biggest, largest financial district in the U.S. after New York. So how do you see the economical changes, the infrastructure changes in Miami? I, I say on one of my previous interviews that I, I can compare on a different level, obviously, but I can compare the change and the, and the, the, the how, how Miami increases his volume on buildings, on development, and everything a little bit like Dubai. Dubai is a new city, like it changed completely his aspect, and we, we feel the same here. 
we feel that Miami is going to be the place to be on the future. And uh, I have a question. We have these amazing shows like Boat Show, Art Basel, Auto Show, Food and Wine Festival. And now we have uh, Miami New Construction Show, which is the real estate event for showcasing the South Florida projects. How do you feel the economical impact of these projects, of these shows? This is very important. I mean, uh, to have a, to have a new construction show uh, be be part of this is important because we we can represent where we want. We can we can talk loudly and give information to the people where we really focus on where we're trying to give them where we where we are. So this is very important mm -hmm. to have those uh, those shows. I'm very happy because Moses is a um, member of the Miami New Construction Show, and he was one of the first actually who when the show started in 2014 signed up and saw the opportunity so i'm just very uh, pleased and very uh, grateful for this to seeing this opportunity and actually we are working for you and we are working for promoting miami showing the world what we can offer in the paradise absolutely absolutely you give the right information to the buyer which is important I would like to ask you something um, to share with our viewers that what is your secret of the success? What, how you manage your team, your projects? What is the secret that you have within your work and maybe within your life? There is one secret, Anita. It's very simple. Happiness. I'm happy every morning when I wake up and I project this happiness to everybody. So as long as you're happy, you're going to see everything is success. Very good. I'm very happy to hear that. And with a big smile on your and on my face, because I believe in the same thing that happiness and whatever you do, you have to do it with passion. You have to do it with full speed and full happiness. This gives you more energy and gives energy more for the neighborhoods, for, this, uh, for your employees and for everybody. I love what I do. I do it for my buyers as I build for myself. So whatever I do, it's like I'm building my own place. So it's for sure that I represent energy, focus on everything, every detail. I'm very meticulous on that. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much for giving a little insight what you are doing. And we would like to showcase all the developers who are playing a significant role in South Florida because buyers has to know who is behind these amazing projects. And one of them is Moses. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.